Hello, um, just getting in before Christmas with a, uh, a little update really. Um, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, but um, I've been busy doing things. Um, I think I said last time I was a bit of a sort of a, a hiatus. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do next. Um, but uh, yeah, while I'm still sort of thinking what where I'm going to go big project wise, I um, was just finishing up, well, adding a few bits into to what I've already done. I could have done with a few more cavalry to go with Carthaginians, so I've done a couple of units of those. Um, which is what I'm showing off here and um, I've also moved in now just started um, dipping my toe, toe into the Napoleonic water um, 28 millimeter um, that could uh, I could easily sink in that pond but we'll see how we go I've uh, just started off painting a few French voltages which are just coming along quite nicely actually I'll show them in a separate video later on but um, I have sort of um, base coated washed them and I've started the highlights now so I'm not actually far away from finishing those um, so depending how things go, uh, how busy we get over the next few days, I might um, throw in uh, throw up a video on those fairly soon. Um, and uh, enthused by that, I've um, just primed a, a group of um, 95th rifles as well. So uh, yeah, maybe getting into the Napoleonics. We'll see where we go. Um, the reason for doing the, the voltage is I've just got a game coming up. I need those four to top up a, a, an army somebody's lending me. So um not necessarily a big project but uh, really enjoyed doing them so it could easily go that way but uh, so that's all for another video anyway but um yeah back to the the matter in hand um yeah so just a few more cavalry for the um, carthaginians these are victrix um iberian or spanish cavalry um i've had a couple of units up before as well so it's, you know again it's, it's not something you haven't seen before um but yeah they're another nice unit so i've got quite a lot of cavalry now which um, the games i've been playing they've um, they've been quite effective for me i keep managing to well not every time but um I've quite a few times turned my opponent's sort of flank and their cavalry running around behind him um which is uh, which is all quite useful um so yeah quite quite pleased with these um yeah victrix again plastics obviously just 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 really nice figures they go together really well they're very detailed paint up very easily it's sort of fairly obvious where you need to put the paint to get highlights and things like that on so uh, so they're they're not they're not too difficult to do um i still think i probably need to do some work on horses because i still haven't um nailed down horses but i'm um, pretty pleased with the riders now they've come along um yeah hopefully say so. highlights and things in the right places and they're sort of starting to look, look, look quite decent um the basing stuff is as as usual nowadays it's uh, the luke's aps thing um i find that so easy and so quick um turns about five or six steps into one um and it actually seems to i'm using his glue that he sells as well it actually seems to grip the stuff on there pretty well so you don't get loads of stuff falling off um the old method i used to sort of put some sand on and then i have to water down pva over that to sort of seal it down um to avoid it keep dropping off um, but this stuff seems to seems to stay quite well so i'm quite pleased with that because um, so I could put water down PVA on it, but that would darken it up and lose the uh, lose the texture I'm looking for or the the colouring I'm looking for. Um, this one I think is called Mediterranean soil, something like that. If you're looking for it, but it uh, sort of strikes me as a reasonable sort of Southern Europe, North African sort of um, terrain with a few tufts in there. It looks it looks okay. So yeah, they're the um, they're the Spanish cavalry. That's the first thing I've done. Uh, second thing, again, nothing you haven't seen before. Um, some Numidian Numidian javelin men. Um, again, obviously Victrix. I bought a job lot of these um, a while ago, but they 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 painted up nicely um, as the others have. Um, just a selection of sort of off whites and um, tunics to try and keep a little bit of variation there. This particular guy's got a, or this particular group's got an officer with it, um, but uh, still gives you the effect of a, a sort of a skirmishing unit. Um, mostly play these with uh, to the strongest um, which most people probably know I've got a sort of grid so um, two of these fits nicely in a grid along with another unit if you want it um, and yeah they're quite small it's quite a small unit obviously but um, that does fit within the grid and if you're using smaller units and a, a grid system it does allow you a lot more units on the table so you get a feel of a bigger battle that way so I, I quite like that it quite works for for what I'm doing so yeah um, again as I say there's only so much you can see on these um, they're uh, something I've, I've put up before a couple of times now the uh, shields if you're wondering I certainly didn't paint those myself they're little big man studios 
um, they make them to fit lots of different figures I think but they they, they, they make a range to fit Victrix and, uh, and and they fit nicely and, uh, and look okay I think so yeah that's the that's what I've been doing lately um, or what I've finished lately as I say I've been doing a lot of work on these French voltageers but I'll put them up I'll put them up soon uh, when they're finished they're not far away um, the other thing I wanted to do while I was on um, it's just a, a quick shout out really um, I, I, again I assume most people who watch this know uh, know about this channel anyway but just in case you don't uh, Brush and Quill um, he's a lovely fella um, he uh, makes quite a few videos does lots of different things he's actually doing at the moment um, through December an advent calendar so uh, every day he opens his bag of advent and uh, introduces everybody to a, uh, a new channel um, some of them I've heard of before, some of them I haven't. So I found a, found my way to a couple of new channels that, that, that are quite good actually. So it's, it's well worth doing. Um, he's an engaging fella, as I say. Um, so well worth a look if you don't know about him already. Um, and also, even if you, uh, so even if you do know him but don't watch him too often, have a look at the calendar because it's uh, it does open you up to some uh, so some some interesting new channels. I think he's very close to to 200 subscribers as well. So he was just um, asking for a little, uh, asking for a couple of shout outs just to uh, I think get him over the uh, get him over the line. Um, so yeah, job done. I uh, hope that uh, hope that helps. Um, other than that. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. So nothing uh, massively informative or insightful to add beyond uh, beyond any of that. Um, so just to say um, thanks very much for watching, subscribing, everything else. Um, we're at the time of year where Christmas is uh, is fast approaching. So uh, I hope you all have a great uh, great festive period. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, hope you get what you want from Santa or uh, family or whoever it is who uh, provides your presents. And um, yeah. Take, the best, take care, all the best, and um, probably speak to you in the new year or uh, maybe after Christmas when these French are done. But um, yeah, I think this will be it before Christmas. So uh, all the best, have a great break, and um, look after yourselves. Take care. Thank you very much.